like a break it was extremely difficult first of all language barrier which is uh, and especially in his case uh, with his very original uh, uh, German he spoke which was partly Augsburg you know so I think it was even difficult uh, uh, to understand Brecht in, in East Prussia or, you know they, they didn't know exactly what he, what he meant so for him it was extremely difficult, and though he did uh, write uh, plays in, while uh, in exile, which then were produced in, in Germany when he returned. Yes, but he had political difficulties too, didn't he? Well, yes, uh, well, like they always have, they still have, you know, it wasn't really very serious, uh, because he defended himself so beautifully in that uh, hearing in Washington, you know, which uh, made a big hit, you know. So uh, he was not for one moment in danger, you know. It just, he just left and then afterwards. Did your after husband the, and you have the same, the same trouble in those years? Or no, because war? we were not, uh, not uh, known for being uh, communists, which Brecht was, you see. And when we left uh, Germany, we just uh, went into exile and uh, could well never took any part in any political... Uh, uh, what do you call that uh, political involvement? He wasn't involved at all, but Brecht was. Did you ever contemplate uh, to go back for good to Germany? No, I didn't. It became America became my second home. Uh, no. Were you um, were you very poor when you started? You I mean, in my childhood. When you started, started with the Drei Groschen Oper in New York? No, no, in, in Germany. I, we were I, not I, rich. We were not on asses, no. <laughs> yes. What you, a uh, young composer, you know, could well wrote the, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, reviews, um, critics, <coughs> for, um, for radio at that time in Berlin. And he had to, to listen to the radio every day, you know. Are they on there? No, we are not yes. on there. Yeah. Yeah. We are on. And he wrote uh, those, uh, and sometimes uh, he, when we wanted to go to a movie, you know, we get so bored to do every uh, night to listen to that, to those programs. And so we asked our, our uh, landlady to watch and, and if there should be any changes, you know, that uh, could well would make a mistake and write about somebody who wasn't really there at that time. So this did happen, you know that some night we went to a movie and the landlady was, was listening and she, she didn't get the change of the tenor, you know, so Goodwell rode along, <laughs> rave about the tenor, which who didn't sing that night before, you see, so he was fired. <laughs> and a friend of mine was in, uh, in East Germany the other day and there was a performance of the Drei Groschen Oper. Yes, I saw it, I was there the uh, opening oh, you night. Were there? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. well, tell me about it, because he had a program of the first performance and your name was not on it. No. That made, that made me famous. <laughs> Thank God I wasn't on it, because the next, uh, you know, and that was a terrible turmoil with that three pen, the first Drei Groschen Oper in Berlin. And then the last scene, for instance, the scene where I come and sing the tango ballet, 
It was written in the afternoon, the day before, and the next evening it was uh, the opening it was in. So in all that commotion, my, they forgot to put on my name. After all, I, nobody ever knew me before, you see. So they forgot my name, and next day, uh, the most uh, prominent uh, uh, critic was Alfred Kerr. And uh, so as a young actress, you know, you do uh, buy quickly and look for your name, you know, and, and then it says, and he described the whole, uh, reviewed all, everybody in it. And then the last paragraph was in, in what you call headlines, who was she? Watch her, she will soon in the front line. Is it very impolite to ask you how old you are? How old I am? Yes. No, not at all. I've said it all the time, 72 right now. <laughs> Are you 70? Yes. Sure. And what are you going to do? Are you uh, going to work and work and work? Or are Until you going to I die, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> yes. Who do you vote for in America for presidency? Right now? You mean right now yeah, when the uh, yes. election came? Well, my, my, my choice would be Lindsay. But uh, he, might, he might win. It's quite possible. Why Lindsay? Why Lindsay? Because <laughs> there is nobody else. If you can name me somebody, please <laughs> do. <laughs> no, Lindsay, yes. For a while there was uh, Musky, you know, but uh, he's losing slowly. And also there's a great possibility of Ted Kennedy to win. But um, you see, you never can know, you never can tell it's in America with uh, elections. Sometimes it's quite surprising. No, we'll surely get rid of him, the one we have now. That's, that's for sure. I mean, all the slightly liberal, liberal uh, thinking people, I mean, it's just impossible, I think. <laughs> I could say so. So many others say it too. 